going on YouTube, and this problem we have another divisibility proof. We're going to prove that if a divides b and a divides c, then a divides the sum uh, b plus c. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. proof. So this is an if-then statement. So we start by assuming this is true, and then we have to show this is true. So we'll start our proof by assuming that this is true. So we'll write, suppose a divides b and a divides c. So the natural thing to do next is to write down what this actually means, right? What does it mean for a to divide b? And what does it mean for a to divide c? So let's do it. So since a divides b, well, what does this mean? This means that b is a multiple of a. So this means that there exists, let's say n, we'll call it n, an integer n in this set of integers, such that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to n times a, right? So a divides b means that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to an integer times a for some integer a we don't for some integer n we don't know what it is. Likewise, since a divides c, this means there exists uh, possibly another integer. We'll call it m. So there exists an m such that. Well, that means that c is a multiple of a, right? So you can write this as c equals m a. All right. So again, we're trying to prove that if this is true, then this is true. The structure of the proof proof works as follows. We assume this is true, and then just I reiterated it again just for added clarity. So since a divides b, by definition of division, this means that there exists an integer n such that b is equal to n times a, right? So b is a multiple of a. Likewise, a divides c means c is a multiple of a. We have to show that a divides b plus c. So our goal, our goal is to show that a divides b plus c. That means b plus c is a multiple of a. So we need to show that b plus c is equal to some integer times a. That's our goal, right? That's our goal in this problem. So the natural thing to do now is to write down b plus c. So then, then b plus c, well, what is b plus c? Well, we do the only thing we can do, right? b is na, so we replace it with na. Plus c is ma, so we replace it with ma. And then, oh, we can pull out the a. Uh, good stuff, n plus n times a where we know something special about n plus m, it's an integer because n is an integer, m is an integer, therefore n plus m is an integer. So where n plus m is an integer because integers are closed under addition. That's the word people use, closed. Um, so we have b plus c is an integer times a. That's precisely the asser assertion that a divides b plus c. So a divides b plus c, and that completes the That's it. I hope this video has helped your proof writing skills. Take care, until next time.